What's up guys? Jeremy here, the Ride Share Addict. Um, today is Tuesday the 12th. Um, just wanted to let you guys know, if you haven't heard yet, a um, little bit of news about Uber. Travis Kalanick has been put on a three month, I guess, suspension. I guess that's what they call it. Uh, uh, temporary uh, suspension. Um, and what, how that came about was uh, the Uber board had a meeting on, I believe it was Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning, and it was a seven hour long meeting, and they were discussing the report that they got from, I, I can't remember who they got the report from, but basically the report um, let them know all the stuff that was going wrong with the, with the Uber company and how they re how what their recommendations were to help fix their problems within the company. So the first one, the first recommendation that they made, uh, there's two big ones. That Emil Michael, who was Travis Kalanick's uh, right hand man, to resign. He resigned officially uh, yesterday afternoon. He's no longer part of the Uber board. The second part was that Travis Kalanick stepped down. Now, Travis did not step down, but they put him on a three-month temporary three-month temporary uh, suspension, I guess. I don't know what the hell you call it. What is it called? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he won't be making any decisions within the company for at least three months. So, with that being said, what does that mean for drivers? What does that mean for the company? Well, I hope that would, I would think that they would try and fix uh, that Uber would try and fix their relationship with their drivers, um, and they would um, change the culture within the corporate, with the within corporate. Um, with that being said, as I uh, probably an hour before I make this before I made this video, uh, BuzzFood just <laughs> BuzzFood just gave me. Or uh, popped up on my news that uh, an Uber executive uh, just resigned after he made a sexual, uh, I don't know, what do you a sexual harassment comment or something very sexist, and he stepped down right after. So this company needs to definitely change, and they need to grow for the better. I think with Travis out of the picture they'll be able to do that. Now, it doesn't mean that anything's gonna change at all. Um, if anything, uh, things might just stay the same. I'm, for me, what I would like to see with Uber is first of all, I have a better relationship with drivers and uh, raise the rates back up, you know? Um, the rates were supposed to be temporary, but um, the word temporary usually means permanent. Sorry, Travis about your temporary um, <laughs> suspension <laughs> you got that honey yeah <laughs> but yeah and then also just to change the culture and within the company that's what those are the things that I would like to see um, <clears throat> other than that uh, I just thought you guys would like to know if you guys didn't know already um, yeah until the next video peace out guys have a good day Okay, so before I end that video, like for real, for real this time, um, another thing that I wanted to see Uber change or add is the tip chop, the tip chop, the, the tip. tip. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> the fucking tip option on the app. <laughs> Put a tip option on the app. <laughs> okay, so those three things. Four things, right? Sure. Better relationship with the drivers. Raise the rates. Tip option. And change the culture of Uber. This is Jeremy Diaz of Ride Addict. Peace out!